What is up everybody? It is your boy Farai. Good to be back. Um, today we're going to be looking at a Young Thug style vocal effect um, slash gunner, you know what I mean? There's a lot of uh, artists that are using that similar sound, kind of sing-song, auto-tune, really cool. My version is much more laid back, so we'll take a look at that and, and kind of break down some effects that you can apply in your mixes to get things much cleaner. Um, and up front, I've kind of focused on getting a really just clean, nice, spacey sound. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's let's break it down. You know what I mean? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you know what I mean? Hopefully this content helps you. Uh, shout out to everyone, you know what I'm saying, that has been staying tuned. Even though I've been gone, I've been seeing a lot of comments, you know what I mean? So it's all love. Uh, free presets in the description as usual. Stop by the web store if you want the full FLP that you can use in your own uh, recording situations and all that. But anyway, without further ado, let's get it. Check my watch, it's perfect time Ooh. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim so On a plane, let my seat recline That's my girl, and she a dime Yeah, icy watch, yeah, icy chain These girls, they rock, and they know my name We ballin' hard, coming back again Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim All right, so there you go, man. That's the sauce right there. Uh, we'll be breaking down how to cook it up. Uh, anyway, so the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, before I forget is, you know what I mean? It, these guys make great beats, um, but the, the point I'm trying to make is that life becomes a lot easier when you purchase beats that sound decent from the get-go, you know what I mean? They were well mixed. You can tell these guys, um, I kind of checked a year back, their mix were okay, and now their mix is sounding really good. So that really helps you as the artist. Um, especially if you're going to be giving money to producers, you know what I mean? At least get a free mix in there as well. Highly recommend finding producers that you like the sound of, you know what I mean? Sound is subjective and all of that. But, you know what I mean? Get a nice level beat and your vocal mix will be that much easier. So anyway, without, with that being said, the first thing I like to do is pretty much, as you can see right there, I, I push my vocal. If you look at how the chain works, I've got a mic input right here. So you add your microphone to here, your USB mic, whatever. And then that goes into this channel over here. You can kind of see one, two, three, four. That goes into this analog chain, I guess, which I'll show you how to get some, some cool kind of techniques. And then that goes into the main, you know, vocal uh, chain, I guess, if you want to call it that. And then the vocal bus are uh, where all of the, the, the rest of the vocals meet up as the final kind of area. I'm um, in the vocal bus. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing, you know, obviously I like to do is just add my auto-tune. You know, this is kind of my, my slime season uh, auto-tune effect right here. You could add some, some humanizer if you'd like. From what I understand, Yag Thug uses about 36 um, and 20, I guess, you know, that, and, and then he kind of drops the vibrato. So you can mess around with that if you'd like. You do get some interesting results. Um, you know, just a bit of denoising just to kind of get rid of any room tone. Um, you know, obviously it's so important to make sure that you do get dry recordings. As you can see right there, I have pretty much little to no noise within my recordings. So it is really important to kind of dampen your room before trying to get uh, to like push your vocal through a vocal chain because all the vocal chain is going to do is enhance the issues that you have in your room. Um, we have products like the vocal restoration kit, which you could throw onto here to really help you with a uh, bad sounding room. But for the most part, you want to really fix that room before recording. And you can do that by just hanging blankets up or something. It's not too hard. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I like the way my, my vocal sounded dry. I'll play it dry in a few seconds. But generally what I like to do is parallel compress it with this analog uh, preamp emulator, right? Which is a free download, the Crow preamp emulator. Uh, you could also use, I've been using this Hornet as well, just to kind of play around. It is high CPU. But um, what, what this does is it pretty much automatically EQs your vocal for you, similar to what Isotope can do. Uh, this is just in real time. So that's kind of cool. Shout out Hornet. And yeah, you know what I mean? You could you could apply this EQ as well, just to kind of get rid of some of the bass, just to kind of get rid of any areas that, that sound way too harsh um, to you. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing I'll do is let me just turn off the, uh, I'll turn off all of the effects on the vocal. So. Check my watch, it's perfect time. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. On the plane, let my seat recline. That's my girl, and she a dime. I see watch, yeah. So, you know what I mean? We, we, we take something that is just a, a bland sounding recording and then we... Check my watch, it's perfect time. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. You know what I mean? We just add that, that, that 3D presence on there. We add that top end and we control the dynamics. That's really all we're doing. Uh, so the first thing I do, you know, let's jump straight into it, is the de -esser. You could use any free de -esser. It doesn't matter as long as it kicks in when there are any harsh words. So if you just want to see... Check my what? So as you can see, the ch ch 
it's 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 DSing that and it's quick and it's efficient and you don't have to worry about it later. That's why it's important to DS first. Uh, next thing I do is pretty much some some analog style EQ. Now I have chosen to use this T Rex um, API. It's no different than this. I'll pretty much AB them so you can hear, but essentially all I'm doing is this EQ curve right here. I am using a shelf type EQ, which looks like this um, to dip away 3 dB at 300 Hertz, right? And then I am also dipping 240 Hertz uh, 3 dB as well. So that is a peak style EQ or a bell type EQ. You can see what's going on there. And then just boosting twice at 12.5K just to get a bit of shine out of the vocal. So if I turn my analog one off, turn this one on. Check my watch, it's perfect time. Hi. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. On a plane, let my seat climb. This one just has a bit more of a, a kind of nice uh, silk to it, I guess. That's why I prefer to use this. If you didn't hear a difference, it, it doesn't matter then. You know what I mean? This is uh, what you want to do. So just EQ. Next thing I do is pretty much some compression, right? So I am using this beefy T-Rex um, Y2A, which is a 2LA style compressor. Really easy to use, you know what I mean? I always uh, recommend these to beginners because it just has two knobs, input gain, and then uh, gain reduction or compression. So if I turn that off, you'll, you'll realize that I lose a lot of the volume. Check my watch, it's perfect time. So I use that to gain the vocal as well as just to glue it together. Glue is really the key word. Check my watch, it's perfect time. Hi. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. So if I kind of transfer it to this one. Check my watch, it's perfect time. Hi. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. On a plane, let my seat recline. Very similar sound. I personally just prefer this one because it has a bit of a, a analog warmth to it, I guess. You know, the, this was made uh, by a singular person. This was made by a whole team. So, you know what I mean? Um, that's the only difference really. But this is amazing and it is free. So, you know what I mean? Go and download the Modern Series uh, plugins. You can find this on vstforfree.com. Great stuff. Next thing I do is just a bit of uh, R comp or R vox, my bad. And the reason, I don't know, for some reason in rap, this has just become a thing, really just to glue the vocal together. If I turn it off, you can kind of hear the aggression that is lost um, in the vocal. We'll hop somewhere else into the song. Let's just kind of get back. See it down. Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see China. These girls, they rock and they know my name. See it down. Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see China. These girls, they rock and they know my name. And, and to me, it just kind of has that sound of history in hip hop, you know what I mean? Every, I mean, the, the Renaissance bundle by, by Waves is one of the oldest uh, plug-in bundles in existence, you know what I mean? So it, you can imagine how many records it's been used on. It's just kind of a no-brainer to use that. But if you don't have the R-Box, uh, you could pretty much just emulate it with any free compressor. As you can see, these are the settings I'm using. Kind of similar, it just doesn't have that top-end uh, boost that the R-Box does, but it'll, it'll, it'll be good enough nonetheless. It gets the job. Done. Yeah, I see watch, yeah. I see China. These girls they rock and they know my name. Back to the Avox. See it down. Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see China. Very similar. I would definitely use the fruity comp if I wanted less of a aggressive vocal. I actually kind of like the warmth this does add. See it down. Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see China. It's kind of got a nice kind of uh, rounder sound, but yeah, this is pretty aggressive. This is like a, a dagger knife of a compressor, really good stuff. Uh, but yeah, the next three plugins we use are all effects. I'll pretty much jump over to these as well. You can kind of see, I'll just leave them in order. We go reverb, chorus, um, and then flanger. You know what I mean? Just to kind of get um, a nice sound. So this would be reverb first. If you do not have this T-Rex reverb, you can just emulate uh, using a free or a stock reverb as well. But, uh, so these are all off, but I'll just show you what I'm doing on this side and you can kind of see the alternatives. See it down. Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see China. These girls, they rock. They know my name. We ballin' hard, coming back again. Ain't no snake, but I'm so slim. Hmm, can't remember if I had it on 13 or 11. But anyway, all we're really doing is just a tiny bit of... Um, a room sound as you can see right there i've just altered this preset kind of just messed around with the frequency roll off and you know what i mean you've achieved this sound so all i really do with that is just to gain a little bit of space i guess our uh, next thing i like to do is a bit of air uh, chorus you know what i mean this is an amazing plugin um, alex to uses this uh he used this on on 21 savages um savage mode and that sounds really good and then you can blend that in with a, another chorus effect ensemble it's really just a chorus effect does sound good to me um, but if you do not have these two plugins, you can obviously just use a fruity chorus, your stock chorus, uh, chorus effect, 
um, and this really blend them in minimally with a bit of flange as you can see right there i'm blending them in so little um it just sounds good as well so yeah i see wash yeah i see chain these girls they rock and they know my name we ballin' hard coming back again and that just kind of puts the the vocal in the beat you know what i mean it kind of gives it that sense of depth um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the, the, the major science stuff out the way. Um, you know what I mean? If you've, you've stuck around this long, you are committed to this field. You know what I mean? Things are really nerdy and slow, but it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, so the next thing I like to do is double up my vocal takes, as you can see right there, to, to really just show that there's a progression in the song. You can kind of gain a bit of volume by doing double takes. So if I just solo these. Oh, I see watch, yeah, I see chai. All I'm doing is a little bit of EQ, summing them up. All I'm doing is some some auto tune. I can actually turn that off because I'm not using that. If you if you want a free alternative, all I'm doing is full on auto tune, um, and then using that young style, young thug style, um, kind of auto tune effect just to get a nice rounder sound on the the part of the chorus. So if you see how it kicks in, that's my girl. Is she a dumb? Yeah, I see watch. Yeah, I see chain. These girls they rock and they know my name We ballin' hard, coming back again Ain't no snake, but I'm so slam You know what I mean? That just adds that kind of diversity to the track I actually like it a bit louder, we'll keep it there um, But yeah, just a bit of diversity to the track right there What we also have right here is a singing channel Which just has ad-libs on it, you know what I mean? You can really just adjust the reverb towards what you're trying to achieve, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of going for a more spacious uh, sing-song style, so I'll keep the reverb on. But if I just wanted to do hardcore ad-libs, I would pretty much just turn that off and then you should be good to go. Check my watch, it's perfect time. Ooh. Ooh. I know you know what I mean? You can, you can add all your ad-libs. Auto tune, you know what I mean? Full, nothing really special there. I'm using this towel chorus right here which is really interesting this is kind of a vintage style chorus from a keyboard i guess but it just really sounds good on background vocals and then this is the reverb i'm using obviously if i didn't want the reverb or i wanted less of the reverb you could kind of just mess with the blend knob here or there even you know it kind of closes the space up a bit more kind of nice as well mine is maybe a bit too wet but it doesn't really matter it's all about the the salt i'm so slim on a plane let my super climb that's my girl is she a dumb yeah, I see watch, yeah, I so there you go, that's pretty much what I can really show you. Vocal bus, we're doing uh, just a bit of EQ again, mid-side EQ, you know what I mean? Just to finalize the vocal right there. Um, and a bit of limiting as well. You can use the W1 limit, I did forget to add it here. I will add it there for the uh, FLP download. Um, but yeah, we, we're doing some SFX as well. Just a little bit of flange, I will add a, I haven't quite found an alternative to this. I will find one, always, always able to find one. Uh, just a bit of flange already, just send your main vocal towards the flange, get a bit of that wetness again. And then parallel compress, I will just add a fruity compressor to here. But just look how aggressively this compresses. I'm so slam, on a plane, let my super climb. That's my girl, is she a dumb? And I definitely recommend watching a video on NY style compression, aka parallel compression. Um, and yeah, pretty much, you know, delay usual. I've done this a million times, but yeah, you know, just a bit of reverb and all that. And that's pretty much all we're doing. This stuff, um, I don't know if I want to start on this in this video, it's parallel compression again, but just in a whole different um, universe. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can show you. You know what I mean? Check out the link in the description. I will probably give away like, you know what I mean? This EQ, um, maybe like the delay that you can add in your own songs um, and that type of stuff. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. Uh, feel free to comment if there's anything you didn't understand. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably pretty long. But nonetheless, always good. Love making videos. Feel good to be back. And yeah, I'll be making a bunch more videos. So feel free to recommend anything I should check out. I'll try as hard as I can. But yeah, until next time, peace out.